Okay, this is kind of part two of Barney and getting him out of Crane. He's a very, very fearful pup of new people. Just giving him a few pieces of food to kind of warm him up, get his little brain in working mode. I realized right away that trying to use food to get him to do what I wanted um, is a really bad idea. It's actually going to break down the trust. So doing it a little differently. I just give him food just to kind of warm him up. And then I just go in and do what I'm going to do. I start with just hand stuff. He's better with hand than he is with the leash. So the body is a little easier for him than the head. He gets more fussy. This thing that he does, it's it's very much overly submissive, very dramatic. He also does it when he doesn't want to be bothered, like to put the leash on, he'll do it and kick at me with his feet. So some things can be used in multiple ways. That's the point I'm trying to make. But right here, he's taking food. He's pretty calm. So I was like, you know what? Let me just show, you know, his head going through the leash with food. He's doing so good. Maybe he'll do it. And he says, no way, Jose. <laughs> now, as he went to take the treat, I did move forward. I was just going to try to slip it over his ears. And it's just too much for him. Not going to happen. See, there. <laughs> there. Now he's like, nope, I know what you're trying to do now. And I say no. So the, the food goes away because you can actually break down trust with food. Now, he's very posy. Um, he does it for a lot of reasons, for attention, for food to be demanding, he does it when he's nervous, when he doesn't want you to enter into a space. He does it for all kinds of reasons. So did you notice what I did? Let me just show that again. I block him a little bit. See, it's just really slight. And I freeze and pause. Let's let everybody settle. That is what is often ignored and why everybody struggles. Okay, so he did this on his own. Like, I didn't grab his collar or anything like that. I'm just scratching him, and he did that collapse thing. So I didn't do that. I just wanted to point that out. And I found a really nice segue into the leash, which are scratchies. So instead of trying to get food to get him to like the leash, instead, he just gets the leash put on, whether he likes it or not. Then I take it off, then he gets food, okay? So that's going to be how we do this. See, the paws are just out of control. So I switch it up. See, look, the hand on the neck again, scratchy, scratchy, slip it right on. <laughs> then he gets his piece of food. He can get it when I first slip it on and then as well as when I take it off. Both are actually ideal. But anyway, this is a much better option for him. So I think this is where food can really go wrong sometimes. When people try to use food to get their dogs to do things, it's like sometimes they just got to do them first, whether they like it or not. You got to do it slow and consider it in a way where they're successful. They might not like it, but they're, they're successful. And then you kind of find your in to start to desensitize it in a different way. And this is ours. So I just did this over and over again. Just a few scratchies, slipped it on, food, slipped it off, food, over and over and over again. Now, this step right here is a different step. Do you guys see the difference? Sorry, it's a little dark. But I am, I'm cutting the petting, and I'm coming at him with two hands over the head. And then he gets a piece of food over and over and over again. I can't do this in place yet. He's too squirrely. He'll take off. <laughs> I got to do it in crate. <laughs> but look, look at those paws going up. You see that? If anybody teaches their dogs to give paw when they're a puppy before they know everything else, just stop it. Stop it right now. I, don't, I honestly don't know if he was taught that, but my goodness. There we go. That was a good one. I went slower that time. <laughs> you see what I mean with the paws? It only took a few reps, and he got really good with this surprisingly quickly. Um, I was really happy. Today was the day where he got enough comfort level just with me and being in the home where we were able to make great strides. But did you see that? See that little jerk he did? Bless his heart. He is... Um, <laughs> a little pitiful, <laughs> but uh, it just goes to show that little jump he did. It really does go to show how nervous this can make some dogs, this kind of pressure, some puppies.